In this video, I am going to discuss about the Oracle DBA salary range for different level of experience. Since I belongs to Oracle da database background and from last nine plus years, I am working as a Oracle DBA. So, on the basis of my personal experience, I am going to uh, answer this like uh, for every different level of experience, how much salary you can expect and how much you can negotiate with your HR during your interview so when you are joining as a fresher even uh, since I have worked in a multiple company like more than six uh, five six companies I have worked it till now so uh, I have also done frequent switch on every two year in two year of uh, experience so I think on the basis of my personal journey I'm able to answer this that how much you can negotiate and how much you can get it so as a fresher, if you are going for service-based company, so you are pro uh, as per your profile, like uh, obviously as a fresher, uh, there is a, um, a very rare chance that you will get a DBA profile. If you are getting a DBA, that's really good. Like uh, they will hire from the college that time you, you will obviously not aware like what profile they will assign to you. Uh, after joining the company like they will give some internal training for a few months and then they will deploy on the project so that time it will be a standard um, package that you you might get from your college so it may vary so let's start with 3 LPA that is still um, for a few of the um, service based MNC the package is still starting with the 3 LPA so if from 3 LPA to 5 LPA in between you might get your um, first uh, package that will be if you are starting as a DBA project then uh, you will be become soon DBA so obviously in any any of the database profile like in no SQL side MySQL side SQL side or Oracle side so wherever you will go most probably your package range will be almost similar so this will be for service based company and in product base you might get little more because in product base they offer good salary so that will start from somewhere 4 lpa to 7 lpa in between you will you will get your prep package even sometime for you know, few of the product based company you might get this package higher also like 10 lpa 12 LPA, lpa but this is going to happen for very rare uh, very less candidate not for every tier, tier 2 tier 3 um, college um, candidates actually so product based companies in, in there is a, a very uh, less chance and uh, for uh, tier uh, 3 college uh, there is very less chance that you will get it uh, very easily so yes obviously you can uh, look for product based company also uh, in, in your starting of your career if you can get it it's really good then you will get a good um, start for your career so yeah and then if uh, after two years of experience if you are planning to switch to get another opportunity so in that case the minimum expectation that you can uh, plan like uh, um, year of experience into two and even three also you can easily demand like if you are um, uh, going for service based company so getting three uh, three time of your experience is little um, difficult but yes if you have a multiple offer then you can get that as well like if uh, after getting your first offer like let's suppose uh, after two years you wanted to switch and the first offer you are getting somewhere 5 LPA 6 LPA then af after that you can start uh, during your notice period you can start attending multiple interviews and if you can clear few more interviews and then with that package you can cross negotiate with your company and if they can agree and the if they consider your uh, highest higher package hi highest package then this package range can vary from uh, 5 LPA to 10 LPA 12 LPA as well but there is a very less chance that you might get 10 LPA or 12 LPA but yes you can expect that as well but uh, yeah there is a very high chance like if you are getting getting um, uh, one offer or just going for first single cross negotiation only then your range will be between 5 lpa to 8 9 lpa only and if you are going for product based company the first offer itself you can expect 7 lpa 8 lpa 9 lpa and they can easily 
provide you that much also for two year experience DBA so there is a high chance that you can get a good package in product base and if you go with some negotiation cross negotiation with uh, any better product based offer then you can get even more than this but uh, more than 10 LPA even so that is uh, it's completely depend on your effort like how much your effort you are putting to get a multiple offer so and uh, how good you are in uh, um, clearing your interviews so on that basis you will get this offer and uh, you can negotiate so next if you are planning to switch after four years of experience then obviously uh, you can demand more than uh, like two, two time of your experience like more than in eight nine lp you can easily expect and if you are having a multiple offer then you can cross negotiate this and uh, like in between nine, nine to twelve lpa service based company can easily offer you but yes if you have a good offer like something 15 lpa if you are getting it then with that also you can try to negotiate or you can try to get that offer means after getting 12 LPA uh, after negotiation then you can again still look for any better option uh, and uh, demand for more than that and if you can get that then uh, it's really good and in product based company with uh, one or two offer also you can get this uh, range between 10 LPA to 16 LPA usually you know, very usually you can get this uh, range but yes if you are getting with more uh, number of offer and you are getting even more than 16 then even still you can try to negotiate till uh, till uh, 20 I can say you can try and if you are trying to switch on 6 LP uh, 6 year of experience then obviously uh, 2 time of your experience it will be 16 LP uh, yeah, yeah means 12 LPA so even 12 more than uh, 12 uh, easily you can expect and from 15 14 15 you can st start expecting 14 15 with uh, any service based company if you are clearing the first interview then from 14 15 LPA 16 LPA you can st start expecting it and uh, that can go up to 18 lp it even if you have multiple offer you can go even 20 plus also but there is a less chance with service based company to get 20 uh, 20 plus uh, lpa but with uh, product based company you can expect between um, 16 to 25 lpa easily if you have multiple uh, offer from any product based company if uh, that should be a tier one uh, obviously they even service based company also consider your cross negotiation if you have a tier uh, tier one company offer then your negotiation will go very smooth they will uh, there is a very high chance that they can ex accept your cross negotiation and then you can get more yeah, and the same goes with the product base also like if you have a good tier one company offer then your package can vary even with this also and if you are uh, planning to switch after eight year like every two year if you are planning to switch so this way you can try to get that package so eight lp eight eight year of experience easily you can expect 20 plus 20 to 25 it it will depend on your um, number of interview you are clearing it and how good you are in negotiation this package can vary from 20 to 25 LPA and even 25 plus also you can get it it's completely depend on your negotiation and the offer that you are getting it from a uh, good company it's completely depend on that and uh, yeah for product based you can get it 30 30 plus also uh, for the same and uh, yeah with 10 year experience you can easily expect to get this package between 22 LPA to 30 LPA like 10 into 2 20 plus easily you can expect and uh, yeah you can obviously after 10 year there is a very high chance that you will be a team lead or you you might get chance of working in man manager roles also a management role also so in in that situation your package will depend on your interview your uh, your negotiation uh, abilities and also on your communication your expertise how you deal uh, with the interviewer and uh, hr and how good your interview has gone so everything actually matters so this package vary on that and it's also depend on your previous 
package like what was your previous package on that your next package will depend it's very much dependent on your previous package if you are not switching very frequently like if you are uh, stuck with one company for five six years then there is a very high chance that you will not fall in in this uh, act package range actually you might be less uh, with this package range with your experience so it's completely if you are uh, frequently changing your company and you are switching it then there is a very high chance that you might get this uh, range of package otherwise uh, you may be less with this range also so 10 year experience you can expect till 30 lpa and for product base you can go up to 35 uh, LPA it's completely depend on your negotiation and the multiple offer if you are uh, getting a counter offer then and 12 plus a year experiences I have a 10 year of experience 10 uh, so I'm able to, uh, since I'm getting with this range of package so I'm able to justify this and even I've seen my seniors with 12 plus of your experience they have a package if they are good in their career and they are in the management role and doing well and uh, they are switching it very frequently then the, there is a very high chance that you can get a package of 35 lpa even in service base also it's completely depend on your negotiation and your um, multiple offer if you are getting it on 12 year of experience still obviously once your experience will cross 12 plus there will be a very last less chance that you will get a multiple uh, opportunity at the same time so there is a, there is a very less chance that you can get a chance for multiple cross negotiation so in that situation you your package will depend on your total negotiation capacity and how good in your technical your communication and uh, how good you know, to work in a management role so obviously for 12 plus you will be definitely getting a management role plus a team lead role kind of work uh, where you have to work for uh, your uh, environment uh, as well as um, your um, client support client communication client uh, dealing and everything uh, billing and all everything will be uh, uh, going with you so you will ha you will be in the middle of uh, transition where you will be man managing the technical role architect role as well as uh, a team lead role or even you might be uh, managing the client side management role also as a manager so after 12 plus you can definitely if you are good in your career you will be in the uh, either in um, technical side architect role solution architect role or database architect role or uh, you, you you if you are in management role then you will be a manager or yeah uh, it's depend on the organizational structure that what role they will assign to you and your uh, capability on that basis they will decide so that's it for this uh, video if you like please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching